very interesting. What is this? This is a telescope. And it helps me to see way, way up in the sky. Oh, I love looking at the nighttime sky when the big harbor is dark. Do you ever look at the nighttime sky? Oh, there are lots and lots of things to see. The moon? The moon is always changing shape from night to night. And sometimes, oh, sometimes there are, there are great stars that shoot across the whole sky. And other times, other times. Now, you know, that's a very good story. Let me tell you about the time that Theodore saw something very special in the nighttime sky. Late one day, Theodore and Fodok were floating home together. Guess who I saw? It was Benjamin Bridge. Who did you see? Asked Theodore. Someone smaller than me and made from a tree, said Benjamin mysteriously. Benjamin always loves telling riddles about all the things he can see from way up there. Smaller than Benjamin, said Theodore. That's just about everyone. Hmm, said Fodok. Made from a tree. That means made of wood. Was it a dock? No, said Benjamin. I saw a canoe. A canoe, repeated Theodore. You know, said Fodok. A canoe is a small boat made from tree bark, like Kulu. Right, boomed Benjamin. Kulu, that's who I saw. Kulu, Theodore shouted. Kulu's come to visit? Oh, no, Fodok mumbled to himself. Not again. Back at the Great Ocean Dock, the dispatcher had a special announcement. Tugboats, he began. I have decided that tonight, because Kulu is visiting, you may go and listen to some of his stories. Hooray, shouted Hank. Great, roared George. Terrific, tooted Theodore and Emily. Fooey, groaned Fodok. Theodore, whispered Hank. Why doesn't Fodok like Kulu's stories? I think Fodok likes stories about real things, said Theodore quietly. Now, Fodok really didn't want to go listen to Kulu's stories, but the other tugs asked him to shine the way with a special light. Hidden Cove is far from the bright lights of the harbor. Even with Fodok's light, it was still quite dark. The tugs looked this way and that way, but they didn't see Kulu. Look! Theodore said softly. Kulu, the canoe, was suddenly there, touched by the first faint fingers of the silvery moon. He always just kind of appears, breathed Emily. I wonder where he does come from, said Hank in a hushed voice. Come closer. Kulu was calling to the tugs. The tugs could see the canoe clearly now. He was made all of bark from a birch tree and had a beautiful rounded shape. We were wondering, said Theodore. That is, we all hoped. You could tell us a story? Yes, a story, said Hank, moving closer. A really good story, said George. But not too long, grumbled Fodok. Fodok aimed his special light in the middle of the circle of tugboats. And that made it kind of like a, a campfire. And Kulu began his story. This is a story about the Northern Lights, said Kulu. Ooh, said Hank, the Northern Lights. Long, long ago, continued Kulu. There was a great canoe built from the bark of a single tree. Her name was Kikuk. Ah, said Hank, Kikuk is a nice name. Shh, whispered the other tugs. Kikuk loved to sail far, far from where the other canoes lived, Kulu went on. Sometimes she would sail so far from home she would get lost. How did she ever find her way home? asked Emily. 
She had a special paddle, replied Kulu, and it always pointed the way home. Like your paddle, said Theodore. Yes, said Kulu, my paddle always points my way home. One day, there was a big storm, and Kikuk lost her paddle. Well, how'd she find her way home? asked George. The old canoes, explained Kulu, who live in the sky, floated back and forth and back and forth, and their ripples made magic ripples of light in the sky. Just like the ripples we make when we move through the water, said Hank. Kikuk followed the bright ripples of light, continued Kulu, and they led her all the way home. They call those ripples of light the Northern Lights. And on very special nights, you can still see them dancing in the sky above. What a great story, said Theodore. Can you tell us another one? Of course, said Kulu. Just then, there was a deep rumble of thunder. We'll have to have our story tomorrow, said Emily. It sounds like a storm is coming. The tugs floated home to their dock, still talking about Kulu's story. I hope I get to see the Northern Lights one day, said Theodore. Well, I've never seen them. Photog, I don't believe any Akulus make believe stories. Well, it stormed all night. A terrible storm. And the next day, too. Of course, work in the big harbor never stops, storm or no storm. Theodore and Photog were docking a ship. Don't forget, we're going to visit Kulu when we're finished, called Theodore. He promised to tell us another story. Oh, you go ahead, answered Photog. I don't want to hear those silly old stories. But you know the way to Hidden Cove, said Theodore. Now, Photog liked being the one who knew things. Well, he said at last, uh, I suppose so. Well, by the time Theodore and Photog reached Hidden Cove, the storm was almost over. And the sky was beginning to clear. The tugs looked around, but Kulu was nowhere to be found. He's not here, said Fodok. Well, that's funny, frowned Theodore. He promised to tell us a story. Fodok was already turning to go when Theodore saw a sight that almost stopped his engine. That's Kulu's paddle. Well, maybe he forgot it, said Fodok. Oh, he'd never leave without his paddle, said Theodore. It points his way home. Well, this time Fodok didn't say anything. You see, he really didn't believe that Kulu's paddle was magic. Theodore put Kulu's paddle up on his deck, and the two tugs set off into the gathering dark to search for him. They looked everywhere, but there was no Kulu to be seen. There is one place we haven't looked, said Theodore quietly. Shipwreck Rock. Well, what makes you think Kulu's at Shipwreck Rock, said Fodak. He's there. Just no. Well, by the time those tired tugs had almost reached Shipwreck Rock, it was night. Fodok turned on his light, but then it just went out. Oh, I must have worn it out when I was shining it during Kulu's stories, groaned Fodok. We'll never find Kulu now, said Theodore sadly. It's getting late, said Fodok. We really better go home, Theodore. Theodore? Theodore? Theodore was 
staring at something. Something, well, it seemed almost magical. What is it? Vodok said. Lights, said Theodore. Thousands and thousands of lights. They look like ripples in the sky, said Vodok slowly. Didn't Kunu say, whispered Theodore, that you can see ripples of light when the old canoes float back and forth in the sky? The northern lights, gasped Theodore. Those must be the northern lights. I didn't believe there were such things, gasped Vodok. They're so beautiful. Look, cried Theodore, there. Vodok turned, and there, in the glow of the northern lights, was Kulu. The storm had tossed him right up on the sand near Shipwreck Rock. Theodore pulled Kulu gently down from the sand with his toe rope. How did you ever find me, said Kulu. Oh, smiled Theodore, we had some help. From some old friends of yours, added Fodok. They all looked up at the northern lights. Yes, said Kulu. They are good friends. Kulu, said Fodak, do, uh, do you know any more stories? Aren't those northern lights wonderful? Fodak thought so. Oh, look at that. Can you see that wonderful light? That's the sun peeking up over the edge of the big harbor for another day. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that means I've been up all night. Oh, my. Oh, thanks for visiting us here in the big harbor. And we'll see you all again next time. Oh, my. I've got to get to bed before it's too late. Or is that? too early. Bye-bye. Theodore, he's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. Oh, Theodore, likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Pushing and a-pulling in the great big harbor in the great big it's so much fun, so many brand new things to discover Waking with the sun, gotta get the job down Oh, Theodore and Emily Vodak, oh, Hank and George and the harbor master too Your Theodore Tugboat Stories. Theodore Tugboat and his many floating friends present playful stories and positive values for young children. Collect the complete Theodore Tugboat home video series wherever quality family entertainment is sold.